Welcome back to Streamers Reloaded, my name is Tom and let's get right into the news. And first up, as always, we got the updates on the bans from the previous week. And so last week there was only one ban that came from Trihex, who was banned for the use of a homophobic slur in a hateful way towards a friend who was on stream with him. Generally, Twitch put hate towards another person under hateful conduct and harassment, which is normally a 30 day ban. That being said, Trihex didn't tell us what his ban came under, but most of you should be happy to find out he is now unbanned, confirming his ban was only 7 days. And so starting on Sunday, we have one from the streamer Black. And so to rip the band-aid off, he has been accused with quite a lot of evidence behind having sexually assaulted multiple girls. All this information has been gathered into one video that comes from the user Oak Dice. In this video, one of the main pieces of evidence used is a recording between Black and one of the girls he did this to, where he admits to having done it. But the bottom line is, <laughs> you did sexually assault me and you're saying to everyone that you haven't ever done that. that that's not what I said. Like, I my I'm I'm sure you never actually said it. It's just said that you've never sexually assaulted anyone. It's just that like people are coming out and saying, Graphis may be a sexual assaulter, and you're turning around and saying it's not true. It's not true. Like, wait, like, like the the thing is like, <sighs> oh my goodness, it doesn't need to like. The thing is like it. Like, White's just going around just spreading a whole bunch of shit and talking a whole bunch of shit when, like, that isn't supposed to be the case. Right. Like, this, like, this isn't supposed to be, like, on a Twitch thing. Like, this isn't supposed to be, like, like, this is no one else's business. Like, no one needs to be in anyone else's shit. Like, your privacy deserves to be kept and none of that should be, no one's dirty laundry needs to be aired anywhere. Like, that doesn't belong on Twitch. So what it seems Black is doing here is that he didn't directly say, I did this, but instead saying that this information should have been private, which is seeing as him admitting to it. This video goes on to expose Black for buying subs, tweeting it out, making it look like he's got more support than he really does. Finally, from this video, Oak Dice talks to Sophia, which is Hyphonix's girlfriend, who also lived in the streamer house for seven months with them, and she talks about some of her experience with Black's behaviour and the way he treated her. Now, I'm going to leave a link to that video at the end, but as far as that video goes, that is all from that. And so following on we have Hyphonix and Alfie who moved out of the stream house Black was living in. Hyphonix spoke about this over three weeks ago and told us that Black is a fake friend but didn't really talk about this situation. The drama really started with just a couple things you know leading up as time went on you know it was the little things you know Brandon wouldn't clean up a couple things here and there he wouldn't take care of a couple things he would skimp out he wouldn't pay on some things he wouldn't pay for this he wouldn't pay for groceries he wouldn't pay for some other bullshit ubers and whatnot but that was like the little things right you can deal with that and whatnot disrespected everyone else in the household over the time etc etc it got to a breaking point of a friendship because he wouldn't change and he wasn't going to change Obviously, that's why we are here. We are today. and Obviously, we don't live with each other, but but a post has come out on Hyphonix's subreddit that makes the claim that they really moved out because of these sexual assault claims and that that is the real reason. But they didn't and aren't currently talking about it because of threats and an investigation. So as of right now, Black has gone quiet on all social media. He hasn't responded to Oak Dice's video, except Oak has told us that Black is suing him. So finally, Black did show up to the Roomfest, which was on the 6th and 7th last weekend. And a girl streamer who goes by the name Miss Baffy, who was also there, tells us that Black was stalking her and saying, some pretty messed up things. So finally, if any of you guys have some extra information, make sure you leave a comment down below. I'll leave a heart on your comment so that your comment gets pushed to the top and I want to see if you guys know anything that I've missed. So finally, to finish this one off, here is that clip and that is all for this. Black, who was his name. Um, I'll call him Graphist actually because I don't want to, yeah. Anyways, um, Graphist was really interested in me really interested in me for the whole night um i'm not gonna sit here and be like oh he sexually assaulted me or something like that he didn't like he he didn't he didn't touch me but he was very very interested in me um he had told people that um he's gonna fuck me and he told people that i'm gonna get it deep and um he was just kind of saying some pretty foul things about me um, he followed me around for a solid three hours, I would say, two to three hours. 
Um, yeah, he followed me around. For, how long was it, MB? He, he followed me around for a long time, didn't he? Uh, everywhere I went, he would just follow me. Like, at the time, I didn't think that he was a massive creep. Like, I just thought he was just a really horny gamer guy who really wanted to smash and was really persistent, right? That's what I thought of him. So yeah, I didn't I didn't think that he was like a massive rapist creep or anything when he was following me. Like I just thought, oh, this guy's really persistent, like he just wants to smash. Following on, we have more drama that has to do with Roomfest. Here we have Grosscore who was allegedly harassing multiple girls at the event. First thing you need to know is that Grosscore is married and a lot of the allegations that happen here happen at the hotel and not necessarily at the actual event. Skidler, one of the people at the event who was also a part of the fight, explained the situation on Twitter. This post reads that at the Aviator Hotel, which is where a lot of the content creators were staying, Grosscore was saying inappropriate things to one of Skidler's friends who was a girl, specifically about how she looked. This girl ended up leaving 20 minutes later, where the police showed up because of noise complaints that came from just normal people staying at the hotel. The police cleared everyone out of the hotel and went outside. Skidler went up to Grosscore to talk about his friend, who Gross made uncomfortable, where Skidler says, look, Ali, you've really upset one of my close friends with some of the things you said to her. Gross responds aggressively with a raised tone saying Skidler shouldn't be defending her, calling him a white knight. Skidler here wanted an apology for his friend, or at least some sort of remorse on Grosscore's side. Here Grosscore got more hostile and turned to one of Skidler's friends, Alex, and said, what are you looking at? Here Skidler stepped in and shoved Grosscore out of the way into a moving car. Skidler then got held down by some of Grosscore's friend and Skidler got beat up. This all happened in a few seconds and the police and bystanders finally broke it up. Finally, Skidler here says that he's embarrassed for what happened at the event, apologises to Grosscore, and wished this never got escalated. So following on, we have a few clips. First, there is a clip on Twitter of Grosscore kissing one of the girls at the bar. Following on from outside, after the fight has happened and it's all being broken up... Do I follow the... That's hotel security. Oh shit, do I follow the police? I follow the police. Follow and finally, from the event, Ice Poison confirming that Grosscore was arrested. I don't know. Yesterday... I don't want to say anything actually because it's no, it's, I don't want to be that dick. Yesterday, somebody actually got arrested at Rootfest. I'm sure you'll find out soon enough because he needs content and he'll just stay in for the next three and a half weeks, but uh, it, it was kind of funny to be honest. So now the outcome to this. So Grosco has released a one hour video. It was originally a stream talking about the whole event. Here we have two main clips from it. First, how Grosco was introducing one of the girls he was talking to to a friend. I did say, and I, and her name was Rachel. I said, hi, nice to meet you. What's your name? Rachel. And she's got, hi, I'm Rachel. Hi, Rachel. And I said, Raj, meet Rachel. Ra uh, Raj, meet Rachel and her tits. Now, I apologise. That was inappropriate. And the other main clip being why he was acting this way. Really realistic. And I, I mean, no offence to the woman. None at all. Uh, but the woman, um, she was wearing a really, really, really revealing top and maybe and maybe again there was a full hour video on his channel if you want to go watch that where he explains everything finally jagex who were behind the entire event have come out with a statement saying the people involved in these events are no longer allowed to attend so on to the rest of the week on wednesday Rickful and becca get into a fight the fight lasts around seven minutes and Rickful calls becca faker than mitch jones this is because of the way she acts on stream in comparison to off stream i'm not twisting it no, I'm not twisting it because I'm on stream. You twist everything because you're on stream. You're the most fake person on stream I've ever encountered. You're more fake than Mitch Jones. Okay, you actually are. You, you, I tried to get you to hang out with me on stream the way you actually hang, hang out with me. You never do it once. You're never the same. It's not. Never the same. I always am like, this girl's so cool. Can she just hang out with me on stream the way she actually hangs out with me? And every single time, you're just this different person. You're just like a robot. I'm different because I'm shy on your stream. I don't want to be called a leech. A lot of people have that problem on your stream because people in your chat community tend to do that. It's hard to be yourself when you feel like you're going to be accused of something. On Thursday, from your princess, she meets up with a streamer she previously hosted and finds out she helped this person get off the streets. It's a pretty wholesome clip. Here it is. You remember when you hosted my stream a while back, like December or so? Like, you know, give away your door. You remember that? Yeah. Um, actually, somebody that found my stream because they were on your stream, I became friends with them and his sister and like her boyfriend, and they yeah. actually 
moved me out here to Vegas when I was like, had nowhere to go in California and they gave me a place to live and stuff like that. So people that found me because you hosted me ended up like picking me up off the street. So thank you. Oh shit. What the fuck? Are you yeah. serious? I, w I always wanted to like tell you and like message you and like say thanks, but I thought it'd be kind of like weird just randomly messaging oh, you. That's so cool. But I guess this is the opportunity. On to Saturday, we have a young streamer who was stream sniping FaZe Tafu in a game of Fortnite and of course killed him. Tafu did react to this on stream but didn't really say anything. So here is that clip. On me, on me, Tifu. Rick up there, Rick up there! He's one, he's one, he's one! Yeah, he got And so the outcome is that this kid is now banned off Twitch. Now this could be for two possible reasons. It does sound like this kid is underage for streaming on Twitch, which you need to be at least 13 to do. It's also possible he did get banned for stream sniping to Foo, as it has happened before. Either way, he is now banned. And the final one this week on Sunday comes from the Twitch streamer Arissa1988 Ohan. She ended up recording and streaming her dad, pulling his dick out on stream, and she of course is now banned. And so that is it for the video today. And finally, I want to say this video is sponsored by Tayrock. They've decided to sponsor quite a few videos. I don't even know how many myself yet. So if you're looking for a cool watch, we have a referral link in the description as well as a coupon code reloaded, which either gives you five or 10% off. I'm not entirely sure. But anyway, that is it for the video today. I want to thank you guys for watching as normal and I'll see you in the next one.